In Act 1, Scene 2 of Hamlet, King Claudius holds court and thanks everyone for their support through the recent death of his brother, King Hamlet, the marriage between him and Queen Gertrude, and his coronation. He proceeds to justify the swift marriage due to the war-hungry young Fortinbras, whom he suspects may try to attack the kingdom under the assumption that the Danes are in a weak position to defend themselves. Claudius assures the court that he has taken the proper action by writing to Fortinbras's uncle, the King of Norway, in order to persuade his nephew to leave Denmark alone. Laertes, the son of Claudius's counselor Polonius, asks if he can go back to France to school. Claudius agrees. After holding court, Claudius and Gertrude turn to a depressed Prince Hamlet and scold him for his excessive mourning. Claudius tells Hamlet to look at him as a father and hopes Hamlet will stay in Denmark instead of going back to school in Wittenberg. Gertrude echoes her new husband's words and Hamlet agrees to stay. After Claudius and Gertrude leave, Prince Hamlet reveals his despair. Not only is he filled with sorrow over the death of his father, but he is also shocked and upset by the inappropriate wedding between his mother and uncle. He says if it were not against God's law, he would contemplate suicide. Hamlet's grief is then interrupted by the entrance of Horatio, Marcellus, and Bernardo. They tell him about the ghost they saw, and he excitedly asks questions. Hamlet decides to stand watch with them that night. As the men start to leave, Hamlet asks them not to tell anyone about this, and the three men give him their word. Shakespeare packs this scene with a lot of information through dialogue. The scene introduces many of the main characters of Hamlet. The audience is revealed Prince Hamlet's despair, the result of the death of his father, and the subsequent marriage between his uncle and mother. Claudius's treatment of Hamlet shows little to no affection. Gertrude's plea for Hamlet to stay in Denmark suggests she is genuinely worried about Hamlet. His obedience shows devotion to his mother. Nonetheless, in his soliloquy, he questions his mother's decision to marry so quickly. He feels betrayed and believes his mother to be disloyal. He ends his soliloquy saying that while his heart is breaking, he must hold his tongue, although his reason is not made clear.